Welcome back to the Know Before You Grow series. Today we're gonna to be evaluating the Coast of Maine Castine Blend Raised Bed Mix. I'm Matt with Soil Lab. And I'm Chris of My Soil. Follow us along as we fill out a scorecard, evaluate its overall score and best usage. The first thing that I wanna discuss is just the price that we paid for this. We paid $38.09 per cubic foot for this raised bed mix. And using our scale, that scores this a two. So we'll go ahead and input that two. And I think next, we really just wanna dive in and look at the overall quality of this potting mix. So Chris, you wanna jump into that bag and see what we've got? Sure, so as a consumer, the first thing we usually do is open the bag, get a smell of that, that product. And uh, with this product, I actually rated it at a nine for smell. And the reason is it just has that real earthy, neutral smell to me, just uh, smells like a, a nice soil. Yeah, um, I really enjoy the smell um, of this soil uh, as well. You know, this is one of the, the soils that I actually think smells good. It doesn't just smell neutral and earthy, but it does. Right. Um, but it actually has a really good smell to it. I want to say it smells like fertility, but it just smells good. I score this, uh, I score this a nine. Yeah, that was a nine as well, so. Awesome, so let's get that put in. Um, the next thing we can really look at is the look and feel of this soil. And if you can get a good look here, this is really consistent. It lacks a lot of that big perlite. Um, this is one of my favorite look and feels of the soils that we've seen. Um, a couple of small chunks of woody material in here, but pretty minimal. Um, this is a nine again for me, um, for the look and feel of this soil. Yeah, I scored this as a nine as well. It just feels really nice in the hand. It's soft. It's got the, the right texture to it. Um, yeah, just a few bigger um, chunks of, you know, some woody stuff here and there, but but not a lot. Just a real nice, nice textured soil. Good look and feel. Yeah, outside of just the look and the feel, I would just add that this took water really well and it performed great um, in, our, in our container here. So were you at a nine as well? Yep. Perfect. I'll turn the next section over to you, talk about um, the my soil test and the nutrient levels that we saw in this coast of Maine soil. Yeah, so you guys know the deal on any of our soils, we go ahead and we run the my soil analysis on these prior to growing a plant. Uh, this particular soil, I scored it at a seven for nutrient levels. We had to dock it a little bit because one of our main macronutrients, nitrogen, is below the sufficiency range in this particular soil. Uh, the rest of our nutrients, um, macros, uh, were looked pretty well. Uh, micros were low, which is typical of a lot of these potting soil or growing media soils. Um, pH was in the middle of the optimal range. So I scored it a seven um, due to mainly nitrogen being low on this one. So I was at a seven as well. And through the MySoil platform, they have that nutrient density score. It was at 6.7. I bumped it up just a little bit because like Chris said, it was um, optimal pH, um, et cetera. So yeah, um, at a seven for the nutrient levels. So I think from a nutritional standpoint, just something to mention about this bag, it is OMRI approved. It does include a lot of organic um, fertilizer inputs as well as uh, biochar. Um, so a lot of goodies uh, in this coast to Maine soil, a really, really nice blend. The next thing we can really dive into is will it grow? So we're sitting about seven weeks after we planted and you can see our lettuce looks great and our tomatoes struggling just a little bit. Uh, Chris, what observations did you have through this grow out? Yeah, I noticed during the grow out, everything started off really well. Um, the lettuce held on, but once we hit about that fourth week, we really started to see the effects of that nitrogen deficiency that we predicted uh, with the soil test results. Um, and you can really see that here. The plants really slowed down. We started translocating nutrient from the lower leaves to the upper leaves to try and support new growth. Um, and so on this one, I scored, uh, will it grow? I scored it at a seven. Okay, and I was at a six, and that was just because it ran out. So we'll enter 6.5 um, in, into our scorecard here. So now that we've finished filling out our scorecard, we get into this an overall rating of 6.7. So definitely a solid performer in this Know Before You Grow series. 
Um, overall, I would use this soil absolutely, and I'd use it to uh, fill my raised beds, fill my container plants that we grow our herbs in. Um, I'd even use this uh, to amend uh, a native soil that could use some organic matter. Yeah, I had best use as um, even a complete grow with the addition of nitrogen, you said kind of mid season, but also even um, adding that nitrogen uh, pre plant or at planting as well to make sure it's there and available. So um, as a complete grow with the addition of nitrogen and then also the addition of organic matter to a native soil garden um, or bulking up a raised bed. Perfect. Well, I hope you all learned something today about this Costa Maine Castine Blend Raised Bed Mix. If you appreciated this, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon in the lab.